All right, you guys, let's do a Spokane residential real estate market report. Let's go ahead and jump right into the numbers. Looking over here, you guys, you can see that the median sales price in Spokane, we've jumped up back up to $409,000. Now, looking at this graph right here, what you can see is, is right here is January at the bottom where my mouse is at $380,000. Now we're back up to $409,000. So in 2022, from January to December, we erased that year's gains. So basically, the prices in December were about what the prices were the previous January. And this is talking the overall metro area of Spokane, not individual neighborhoods. But we erased our gains. And so now we're starting to build back. We're starting to grow those prices up again. Interest rates was a big part of this, hitting us in October when interest rates hit that 7%. I think what's happening now, in fact, what I hear from other brokers and other buyers, what's happening right now is that buyers have finally gotten used to the new interest rates and they're moving back into the market. So the median sales price, it's up 5.4% 5 5 basically from last month when we were at $389,000 for that median price. Coming out of the slowest time of the year, you're going to expect prices to keep going up. But you can see right here, we're 6.4% down than we were from a year ago. So we're still coming back up. You can see it right here. Here's where we were. You can see right now we're starting to come back up from there. This is an interesting graph here. It's the percent of list price received on offers. So basically a house selling for $400,000. If they all were priced to four hundred dollars and they all had sale offers, they closed at $400,000. You would see this at 100%. What this is telling you right here is back during the peaks of the of the last um, couple years, you would see us at 105 and 104 percent. That means people were coming in way over asking price and creating a bidding war on properties. Well, we were down here basically at the end of the year at 98.4 percent, and now we're headed back up coming into the spring at 99 percent sale to list price ratio. Now this is interesting. Our cash sales are down a little bit. And they're not really headed that far up. We're at 16% of all sales are cash sales. But you can see here at the peak of 22 in November, we were at 23% were at cash sales. So that's pretty high, but you'd have to go all the way back here to 2015 and 2014, which is coming out of the last housing crash when we saw that many cash sales. That makes a lot of sense. Coming out of a housing crash, prices are deflated and a lot of cash buyers are going to be headed into the market. This doesn't really tell me anything here of any future indicators. I just find it kind of interesting that we're hovering around here on 16% cash sales. My name is Brian Johnson. I'm a real estate broker right here in Spokane with Windermere. If you have any questions about real estate, feel free to reach out anytime. My contact information is right here. And I have a couple of really great downloads if you want to access them in the descriptions below. There's a buyer's guide and a seller's guide. So if you have any questions about real estate and you don't want to contact an agent yet, download those guides directly. I don't ask for your email address. And you can get a lot of your questions answered right there. Now, the median days on market were at 7 and that is headed down. You can see right here, we were at 34 in December, seven days on market. You guys, that's a really fast marketing period. That basically means most houses are pretty much going under contract if they're priced accurately within seven days, days on market. That's nothing. We want to see a much healthier days on market for a healthier market. We're not seeing it. Days on market is a really good indicator and it is going down. Now, if you really want to know the game, if you really want to know how to look at real estate prices and what's going to happen, the only place to look is inventory. That's it. It's a supply and demand market. No inventory, basically, you're going to have high prices. Now that people are getting used to the interest rates, you're starting to see buyer demand come back into the market. Unfortunately, we're not seeing any sell pressure on sellers. Sellers are sitting on three and a half or lower percent mortgages, and they don't want to sell those to move up into a 7% mortgage on a more expensive house. So your move up buyers are pretty rare right now. They exist, they're starting to come back into the market, but nothing like they were before. So this graph right here tells you everything you need to know about the market. You want to see a healthy market a, up in the five and six months range of inventory. Right now, we have a month and a half of inventory and it's headed down. We want to see five and six months before you start seeing a healthy market. We're not headed in that direction. In fact, we have not even been there since around 2015. You can see right here on this graph. We have enormous buyer pressure and very little sell pressure on sellers. People just don't want to put their houses on the market. Also, we're not building enough houses in Spokane. We need a lot more new construction, and the Spokane City Council is not helping with that. With their threats of raising fees, and they have raised fees, they tried to do it catastrophically recently. We shut that down, but not completely, I'm sorry, but it wasn't complete. 
they look, but fees are going up massively for new construction and that those fees are going to get either passed on to you as a buyer or those houses are just not going to be built because I know builders right now that won't even touch the city of Spokane. That's a problem because we need 30,000 houses and we need them right now and they're not being built, not even close. You're seeing a lot of the new construction apartments coming on the market and they're going to fill up really fast. That's just a, what's going on. You're not seeing as many single family houses being built, especially starter houses or lower end houses. They're pretty rare right now and they're not coming into the city of Spokane and that's exactly what we need. We also have expiring this summer, the ADU um, new zoning temporary regulations that allow people to put up to four units on basically every city lot in Spokane. We don't know what's going to happen with that. It's going to change in the summer, but you can do it right now. But we're getting to the tail end of that because once you start getting close to it, people aren't going to be buying properties anticipating that continuing if they don't know it will. So there, we didn't see a big influx of investors and stuff popping a lot of ADUs into backyards. People aren't really taking advantage of that. Lumber prices are very expensive. It's hard to find trades people to do stuff. So there's a lot of reasons why that's happening. They need to make permanent changes to the laws. They need to lower fees to increase new construction. If they do that, we'll start seeing more building and we'll start seeing more inventory. But with sellers sitting on three and a half or lower percent mortgages, they're just not excited to put those, those houses on the market. So they're not going to be putting them on the market. Not in the not like they were before. It's sort of a forever problem. The inventory is a forever problem. And all of these mortgages sitting out there at this crazy low interest rates that we will never see again, those are hard to get rid of. I have one. I have a three and a half percent mortgage, and it is tough. If I wanted to move from my house and move to a different house, if I wanted to move up, forget it. My payment would triple. I'm not interested in that. I don't think a lot of people are. Like I said, if you have any questions about real estate, feel free to reach out anytime. My contact information is right here. I love talking to my clients that find me through video. It feels like we already know each other. So reach out and we'll have some great conversations about real estate, you guys. Thanks again.